here's the Chef's Mark Automatic Bread Maker. I've had this thing also since, as they say, the year of the flood. I bought it at the same place that I got my Chef's Mark Citrus Juicer from. Apparently they carried that brand. I've never seen this brand anywhere else and uh, know nothing more about it except that it was probably more or less like a one-off. But uh, I've owned this since uh, easily 2002 or three, and um, it's been flawless throughout. You open it up, here's the uh, baking pan that comes out, it just lifts up and out. And there is a heating element and the motor drive with the kneading paddle. This just goes in. Now you line it up and you have two hands and it goes right in, but I'm not having that luxury right now. There it is. Snaps down. And one other curious thing is that when I got this, two things about it actually. One is they said to remove the paddle when you go to clean it. You see the paddle spins around in there and that's what needs the bread and stuff like that. Uh, once that was put on there, it never has ever, ever, ever come off. Uh, it just is. So that stays. And the other interesting thing is a little dent in it that was always there and yes it's on the inside. There's a little ripple down there. I don't know if you could see it. And every bread has a little ripple on it. Here's the information on it. It's a bread machine model B48M 120 volt 60 Hertz 520 watts. That's all it takes to make bread, and it is a UL listed bread maker that's made in China, but at least there was still some quality back then. Even the control panel and buttons still work flawlessly. If I go ahead and plug it in, and now, there we go. It comes up, you select which program you want right here very easily. So if you wanted to do like number five, basic 1.5 to two pound loaf, you just do that, hit start, it tells you how long, and then it starts doing things. Um, in a while it'll start running the paddle and things like that. I think if I stop it, let me see, and select six, Uh, I guess I forgot how long it takes, but it usually starts within a moment or two. Setting seven, it goes immediately. And you would put your flour and water and all that kind of good stuff in there, and it somehow mixes it, kneads it, makes a dough ball out of it, and bingo bango, a few hours later, you have fresh baked bread, and there's nothing better. Obviously, I'm going to be making bread here. These are the general ingredients for regular white bread, which is usually what we make, but of course they tell you how to make all kinds of other stuff, such as buttermilk, there's seven green, yogurt dill, uh, cracked wheat, 100% whole wheat, if you can find all the ingredients for all that stuff, pumpernickel, caraway rye, chocolate banana French bread. That was actually really good. We made that once or twice. Rosemary cheddar, fruit and nut, cinnamon raisin, and then you can make just dough, pita pockets and other stuff. It's a pretty cool machine. I think I paid 30 maybe $40 for it back in the day. I swear I had the receipt right inside the front cover of the book. Yeah, it's really faded. It was from, there's too much glare and too much reflection of the camera. It says Mesa's Closeout City. Looks like September 20, no, I can't read that at all. Oh there, 02, 723.02 is when I bought it, and I paid $30. <laughs> it's 
and I've had it ever since. I kept, I kept it taped in the book. <laughs> so one time in my life I did something right like that, and of course it faded anyway. Story of my fucking life. Anyway, we're gonna make some bread here. The way this works is you have to put the liquid ingredients in first, but there's also something else interesting as it calls for skim milk powder. Now, I don't generally keep that around, and uh, I found that instead of buying it, what you can do is figure a conversion. Now, it gets a little complicated here. You have to remember your third grade math skills. Uh, basically, <laughs> for this one, it takes two tablespoons of skim milk powder. For every tablespoon of skim milk powder is a quarter cup of liquid milk. So that's two tablespoons, so that's going to be a half cup of liquid milk. But if you're putting liquid milk, you have to reduce the amount of water by that. So one and a quarter minus one half is three quarters cup water, and then you would put a half cup of milk, and that way it would equal the same one and a quarter liquid. So that's what I've done here. So there's water and milk in there. You don't want to use regular milk in here if you're not going to be starting the machine and baking it right away. The machine has a timer function where you can set everything up and wake up in the morning to fresh baked bread to go with your freshly ground and brewed coffee and other miscellaneous bullshit that nobody needs today. But it has that feature because it has to be, you know, electronic controlled instead of a timer or something. Recipe calls for shortening. I just use butter and just cut up little chunks of it and put that in and that seems to do the trick every time. Okay, all the ingredients are in. For the yeast, you make a little well in the top of the flour and put the yeast there. Otherwise, you drop it in the machine and we'll select that. Oh, this one goes immediately also. Perfect. So this is going to do its thing. It's mixing the liquid with the dry ingredients. And uh, eventually it'll start mixing at a more solid pace. And it'll form a ball of dough. I'll come back when that happens. You'll notice now the strokes are shorter because everything is turning to dough in there. It's only been two minutes or so, and you can see it's starting to form. And now about five minutes in, it starts running continuously. And you can see how the ball is turning and getting all the dry bits from the corners. And it'll kind of just work itself together. It just, it just somehow works. Just sort of let it do its thing. You can add a little bit more water or a little bit more flour, but it looks like everything is gonna just go together in that corner. And things are pretty well working here. So anyway, I'll come back later when the bread is done, two hours and 44 minutes away. Here it is, two and change hours later, a bread. He always gets this weird crusty top. It always like pops like that. But it's awesome. It even has got the beveled edges and that's where the paddle thing went. And cut it open for you. There's your bread. Spongy. Delicious. Still hot. Put butter on that, it melts immediately. Wonderful. All for 30 bucks. That was a score. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. I'm going to go have some bread. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.